So I've actually gotten more than one offer in the past to be on reality television. But due to my nagging control issues that are brought on by chronic anxiety, I always decline. If anyone's gonna make my family look like an ash hat in front of a nation, it's me, thanks. Anyways, the newest offer, it just really threw me for a loop, okay? I got reached out to by a casting director who's looking for uh, people who have family members that they're complete opposites from. Have you seen my family? Let me introduce you. This is my husband and I. We look like Tweedle fucking D and Dumb. When we go out, people just assume we're brothers. I literally think I made a bus driver shit themselves when they found out we were married. One time my husband and I lost an important paper from our attorney's office. We're both like, quick, we gotta check the safes. We opened every safe in our house. They were all filled with Pringles. We filled our safes with Pringles while we were sober. Our priorities of what to protect certainly are in the right place. One time I wanted to get revenge on my husband, so I went out and I bought a huge statue of a rooster. It was so big I couldn't even fucking lift it. Unfortunately for my ego, the 110 pound girl that was working there could. When my husband was mad at me, he went out and got a tattoo of a naked demonic woman on his leg, except it looks like she has a C-section scar from the 1920s. Not that different. This is my kid. Some endearing terms that my kid has had for me are A, fat bastard, B, hot dog arms, and C, Majel, which he thinks is my birth name, but I assure you it isn't. My son went through a phase where he primarily stole and hoarded coins and tortillas. Coins and tortillas. Like pennies and tortillas you eat. And his musical tastes include Eiffel 65, The Ugly Doll Soundtrack, and Ghostface Killer. I'd say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Speaking of which, this is my father. My father does not trust anyone whose teeth are too white. He keeps my baby teeth in a Xanax bottle from 1994, which is very sweet. <laughs> the way you'd know a storm is coming in our house is because he'd run to the bathroom, look at the toilet, and if the water was moving, that meant turbulence. An interesting family? Yes. A different one? Only from you. <laughs>